Hey Xamarin developers, this is Xamarin guys. So 36 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating some pen gestures where you are able to drag and drop our image in vertical as well as horizontal way. You can see over here. So in order to create such type of project, at first let us go to File, New, and then Project. Then we are writing code for cross platform that's why i'll select that cross platform app and then give a name as pen gesture and click on ok after that you can select any project that is shared as well as portable project in this project we will be basically talking about root project that is our pen gesture project rather than project that are targeting both android and ios so i'll be minimizing them let us quickly go towards our app.cs you will find that app.cs inside your app.xaml.cs in updated form of Xamarin forms. This app.cs is a main area where we are evaluating our app to start from the position. Here we are publicly defining our screen width as well as screen height. This variable will be going to be used inside our pan container.cs. Here main page is a placeholder which contains the page to be loaded that is our home page is going to be loaded at first. This home page is my content page that consists of two parts they are xaml as well as .cs part. Now let us go to our xaml part of our home page. We'll pass our absolute layout inside our content page in the form of content. Here we are calling our pan container class locally inside our absolute layout so that we can have feature inside our image. This is my image inside my drawable folder and that's the same for our iOS too. You can use any image for that. I'll be giving a height as well as width request as 1024 and 768 pixel. Here you have to understand that this class can be wrapped around a user interface element so that the pan gesture will drag the wrapper user interface element. In our main method public pan container, this section contains our generalized helper class that performs freeform planning which is typically suited to navigating within image as well as maps. Here I'll set pan gesture recognizer touch points to control the number of touch points need to pan. This math is used to drag only within the bounds of the wrapped user interface elements. You need to know that when the image element receives a pan gesture, the displayed image will be dragged. The drag is performed by the pan container on pan update method. The wrapped user element is then dragged by setting its translation x and translation y property to be calculated values. When the panning content is an element that does not occupy the full screen, the height and weight of the viewport can be obtained from the element's height and weight properties. This method updates the viewable content of the wrapped user interface element based on the user pan gesture. This is achieved by using the value of the total x and total y properties of the pan update even argument instance to calculate the direction and direction of the pan. Now let us compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not. Our app is being deployed. Okay, it's being ready. And then same process will be for both Android and iOS. Okay, we can scroll it horizontally as well as vertically. And we can see all UI. That's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.